everyone and welcome back to another lecture of Swift UI Crash Course series. So in today's video, we'll be discussing about scroll views. So earlier in our previous videos, we have discussed about horizontal stack, vertical stack, and you saw how we can place multiple elements inside the stacks. So what if like we have, let's say 15 to 20 elements with a frame of hundred each. And so once we place all of them, like the frame size will be so much bigger that it won't fit inside the screen of the device. So in that case, our content should be scrollable so that user can see all the list. So to make it possible, we have scroll view inside our Swift UI. So when we implement scroll view, all the content that is inside the V stack will now be user will now be able to scroll it. So let's see it by example. So you can see on my screen, I already have a scroll example view created and inside the body, we only have a text. Let's just uh, remove this boilerplate code and create our own uh, V stack and inside the V stack, let's just create a dummy view. So we created a linear gradient and on top of it, we added a text. We kept both of them inside a Z stack and this is how the view looks. So we have created a dummy Z stack for just for the tutorial purposes. And now I think you already, you are already familiar with the code, uh, how to use linear gradient and text. We have already explained it in previous lectures. So if you don't understand the syntax, you can just uh, go through our previous videos. So we have a gradient in our text. So currently you can see we only have one element inside the V stack, which is this one. And what if we have multiple elements? So let's create a for each and create multiple duplicate views. It will provide the range as zero to let's say less than 20. And for the content, We'll pass this Z stack inside it. And here for the text, we'll pass the index. So in the right hand side in the canvas, you can say we have the view and uh, we are, but we are not able to scroll to view all the views that we have added. So currently we are only able to see seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, but the rest of the elements like from zero to six and 13 to 20, we are not able to see because we are not able to scroll this screen. So to make it possible and add scrolling to this V stack, we just need to add one simple scroll view and it will make the content scrollable. So we just added a scroll view and moved all this V stack code inside it. And now we are able to scroll through the content. Now scroll view also has the property of uh, horizontal and vertical alignment. So we can just pass it directly by pressing a dot and it will give us option of vertical or horizontal. By default, it is vertical. So if you have to implement a vertical scroll view, then you don't need to provide this option. But if you want to make it a horizontal, then you will have to type horizontal here. We want vertical, so let's just put vertical for now. All right. So you can see that when we are scrolling, we have an indicator on the right hand side. If it is visible to you, we have an indicator in the right hand side that shows how much content has been scrolled. So if you want to hide it, you have an option here in the scroll view, which is shows indicator. So here we can also make it false. So now when we will scroll it, you'll see that the indicator is not visible anymore. So these are some of the properties that you can apply on the scroll view. You can also add few modifiers like background and for background, you can change it to like color dot blue. Then you can also provide frame to it like a width of let's say hundred and a height of 599 okay so these are some of the modifiers you can use on the scroll view so i hope you understood the concept of scroll view and how 
you can easily add any content to scroll you and make it scrollable so i hope you understood it and if you have any confusion just let me know in comment section and i'll be happy to help so that's it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you